as always, before I start rolling, I spot deer. I mean, they're not like dogs where you can make them wait. Like, wait, sit. Good boy, you know. You just improvise. And lately I've been seeing them on my way to the park. Not after the park. I spotted two today, number 15 and 16. Last year I saw was those three crossing over on over in Wolf's Pond Park. It's deer number 15, all alone. It's all alone. I don't know where his heart is. It's <clears throat> a cutie. Good thing this is an electric fence. All right, there he goes. Bye, deer. Yep, deer number 15. It's amazing how many deer I spotted this month alone. Deer number 16. All the way down there. Sixteen deer in the last month, less than a month. This time it's at the high def. It's a bit wow. It's a big deer. It's a big one. surprised in this weather there's lots of them there are lots of deer in this in on the island Now deer number 16. Now bear with me, these might be the exact same deer that I see every time, but it's a 16 deer I spotted. I mean, how do I know? How can I find out if they're the exact same deer? I didn't tag them. I don't hunt deer, I just snap them, snap pictures of them. It's my ammo, and it's kind of become an impromptu hobby, last minute hobby I do when I go out after the gym, you know? Hey everyone, it's Bebop Ray J. Killer, AK Super Bowl. I know you already saw me twice already. I caught deer 15 and 16, but I'm about to do something that I originally did on fr last Friday, the day before I saw Brendan. Uh, what happened was the video was way too uh, long, so I, I wasn't able to upload it. My storage was too full. But I'm walking on this pier, and by the looks of it, the tide is really high today. This pier is meant for fishermen. There's two sides of it and there's lots, and unlike last time, there's lots of dirty shells. Whoa, very wobbly today, but I won't die. And I will check out the other side too. Basically, I'm gonna try not to uh, make this too long like last time. That's how it, uh, that's why I couldn't upload, it was too long. Also, I'm gonna take pictures of those uh, capsized ships down there in picture form, not video. So uh, yeah, let me take some now. Coming at you with some panoramic pictures. It's amazing how I get them done so quickly and so rapid. In rapid succession, beautiful sunset. As I speak, as we speak, 
at the time of recording, I'm almost to the bus. Almost there. Yep. Okay, so I took two panoramic pictures. I'm gonna take two more that on that pier. So off we go. Yeah, fishermen go on this thing. Yeah, the tide's really fucking high today. I'm not kidding, it's really high. Like Blondie says. And I'm holding on. I'm gonna be As you can see, lots of garbage gets polluted in these waters. And sometimes when the water's really high, especially in the summer, the tide's really, really high, it could literally go up to my feet. Like from this from this point, this angle. So let's see this side now. <laughs> it's really fucking high today. This is like a perfect spot to do like a Friday 13th video. Although this water is a lot filthier than a lake, wouldn't you say? Technically this is a lake. It doesn't connect to the ocean. I don't think it does. Whoa. That wasn't there last week. Icicles. Jesus. Yeah, the reason, like I said, I didn't come yesterday is because it was way too windy. After, after the gym, I saw Ron, and then that was it. Went home. I like the day was incomplete, because I like to come home when it's dark. Because to me, when it's dark, that's when the day's over. Here's a little sewage drainage pipe where the water, the filthy, flooded sewage, sewer water goes in. And there's more icicles there. So, stick around. I'm going to do two more panoramic pictures and some water effects, splashing shells into the water. <sighs> Imagine if I did like a Friday 13 part four, you know, reference with Sam and What's-Her-Face. There's the icy uh, railing. If that wasn't enough, look closely. There's icicles hanging off the goddamn pier, wooden pier, dock, whatever. Yeah, I forgot the other girl's name for Friday 13 Part 4. Sam was the one that was pretending to drown, like floating. <laughs> Sam! <sighs> also, that pole reminds you of Trust Thomas when he gets chained, when, when it breaks, when the chain breaks, when Thomas goes across on that little... Uh, very that's done that's that that's that's the end of that got no more got nothing else to say more ice in there in the gaps and those ice Welcome, 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 welcome. Here's a picture. I mean, sign. I once saw a rat go in, uh, go inside the pier, which is fucking nasty. So, due to time constraints, I'm gonna stop the video, and the rest will be pictures. So, see you back home, everyone. It's a little less cold than yesterday, or should I say, it's less windy. See you back home, everyone. Peace. And maybe I'll do another model video when I get home. Actually, yes, I do have one in mind. So, see you then, everyone. At the time of recording, I'm now on the bus. I didn't really get, I didn't get a chance to look at the time. Now, here's one of three capsized boats that I found along the uh, shore. Any boat that's crashed means somebody either died or jumped clear and almost got injured. And there's me sitting on the, uh, you know, thingy, the artificial ring. And somebody left a drone, a helicopter drone there. I wonder who it was. Okay, now the real last video because it's still kind of early. Surprised I got this done before five o'clock. Anyhow, this spot in the summertime is the 
I don't know the name of the church, but it's a uh, it's led by Chris Finelli, the father of Louis Finelli, who I'm kind of close with. Yep, it's all the way at the end of Great Kills Park. Well, Crooks Point's technically the real end down there. And this is the restroom that everybody is forced to go into because the one bad thing about this beach is summertime, around five o'clock around this time, summertime, they lock the restrooms. The beach is still open, but the restrooms are locked, leaving everybody to run over here and change far, and there's probably bugs in there. So that's one thing I'm not looking forward to if I do go back to this beach, at least swim-wise. I mean... Yeah, so, unprotected beach, no lifeguards. I mean, I could have recorded footage of me inside the pet, the canopy, but I really want this video to go on YouTube. I don't want this to be uh, too long. So, with that said, time to head back. So, see you back home, everyone, for real. It didn't take me, surprisingly, that long to get home. Last time it took me, well, to get to the bus it took me less than 40 minutes, I know that. So, yeah. Speaking of home, home sweet home. Let's go. All right, bye everyone. And just when you thought the conference house was the only park on Staten Island that has ridiculously colored rocks, at least the ones at the conference house were polka dotted blue. These were fully blue. Crazy. You think that's enough blue? Blue Mount Corey.